guys welcome back to my channel thanks so much for joining me today thanks for stopping by and checking out what's going on on my channel today of course you can tell from my thumbnail I have got a haul a haul from Disney World which I'm so excited about and uh, also have a few things that came in bef right before we left so I said you know what I'll just add it to the haul video when I come back and so, guys, it, as you know, uh, me and my husband, we went down to Disney World for our 25th wedding anniversary. If you follow me on Instagram and head on over there to Bells of Cotton if you don't, and uh, you can see uh, I've been posting some pictures from our trip. I did that while we were down there, and I'll continue to post some uh, for the next several weeks uh, until I use all my pictures up. <laughs> But anyway, and I do have, I did want to uh, use all my time video. And so I did take a little bit of video and I'll probably be able to put in one video to kind of cover the time that we were there. Uh, we flew down one day, had two days together, and we flew back the fourth day. So it's not like we, we had a lot um, we didn't go to every single park and so anyway that's to come you'll see that i'm not sure how i'm going to put that together yet it's probably going to be just one big video for you to see everything at once um, but anyway today's all about the haul right well the first thing i want to share with you is uh, we were so excited we actually stopped in at magic kingdom and we asked for our buttons uh and this is happily ever after and it's got 25 ears and it has two little Mickey head gold Mickey heads which technically oh well, one it seems one is kind of silver and one's gold okay so I guess they can use that for uh, the 25th and the 50th anniversary I was kind of surprised they had some stuff um, for the 50th an anniversary but I really didn't see that much at all for the 25th wedding anniversary so anyway I guess they use this um, together uh, so they can just use one button but we, they're both the same but we both got one so let me give you a quick close-up okay, of that. so here is our button from uh, Disney World when we went into Magic Kingdom we went over to guest services and uh, asked for one of our buttons and it's so cute and now we'll have this um, to remember uh, for the times that we were there for our 25th wedding anniversary. Okay, so I loved those. Now, to kind of snowball into the next thing that we brought back from Disney, like I said, uh, we always, even when the kids were little, every time we go somewhere, where there's Disney, down to the beach, up to the mountains, wherever it is we go, we try to find a Christmas ornament for that year and so uh this was real special it's kind of a thing for us and so it is uh no surprise that we wanted to pick up a ornament for this big celebration for us but i was kind of disappointed because we went in several christmas shops and um they did not have any thing silver for the 25th wedding anniversary so we kind of, you know, and then what they did have in silver, they couldn't um, write anything on it, uh, you know, to um, indicate that this was for our 25th wedding anniversary. So let me share with you what we come up with. And, you know, we both, when we saw it, we were pleasantly uh, pleased with it. Uh, better than the other options that we had, but I think this is so cute. Oh my gosh Okay, first of all, it is Mickey and Minnie and They're all dressed up in their wedding attire and you know what this could be used for a wedding Obviously, but it just has happy ever after on it. So it doesn't it didn't say anything about uh your wedding or you know marriage you know like something you would indicate when somebody gets married they had tons of that so what we did is we had them on the back write in 
uh, the 25th anniversary. So let me give you a quick close up of okay. this. So you can see Minnie and Mickey are dressed up in their wedding attire. Minnie is so pretty and she is in silver glitter dress. And then uh, Mickey is in a silver, a darker silver suit. And they're all dressed up. I love the bow and Minnie's hat on her ear there. And if you can see, it's got little hearts and it says 2022. And then it's got happily ever after there. And then I love the little um, ribbon. It's in silver also. And on the back, we had put on their 25th wedding anniversary. So this symbolizes our time we spent at Disney for our 25th wedding anniversary. And I love it. How precious is that? I, you know, my husband and I, when we saw it, we were just going to pick up a silver uh, ornament and just, you know, try to remember as we get older, older that that was for our 25th wedding anniversary. Uh, but this was just perfect. We wanted to be able to write on it that it was for the 25th wedding anniversary. It has the year and everything on it. And I think it was absolutely perfect. So we were so thrilled about that. So that's that. Now, the next thing, let me just open it up. Now, we flew in to MCO or, or Orlando International and um, we rented a car. And so, you know, I told my husband, I was like, you know what, honey, let's see how far it is from the airport to the uh, character warehouse, Disney's character warehouse. Um, so I plugged it in. It was only like, you know, 20 minutes. I was like, great, let's do that. So we actually went to the one, I think it was on Byland, if I'm not uh, mistaken. And y'all, I will be honest with you, I was kind of disappointed. Um, you know, I don't know if it has to do with the pandemic or the fact that we got there at like two o'clock in the afternoon. Um, and that probably had a lot to do with it. Uh, but I really didn't see very much that I was interested in, for one thing. And then secondly, y'all, the prices, the prices, prices, prices are higher. And I know, I know it's been a little while since I've been to the Character Warehouse. And I know we've gone through the pandemic. Everything is inflated right now with prices, but it, it even hit the Character Warehouse, in my opinion. Uh, you know, ears, many ears, they didn't have as many as I've, they've had before. The selection and what they did have was like $14.99. And I know that's like half price. But the last time I went, I, you know, really stacked up the ears and I got them for like $5 sequins ears, you know, for like $5 a pair, you know? So I was really disappointed in that. Um, I was really looking for some coffee mugs to take to work. I mean, just really something that is functional for me. Um, and I was just kind of you know, not very pleased with what I found. And again, let me just preface all this by saying that it was like two in the afternoon. And I know uh, as soon as they open, they have tons of stuff and I'm sure it all was just kind of grabbed up, uh, all the really good stuff. So anyway, maybe next time I can get there and I can um, get there early enough so I can get in on some of the, the nicer items or the better deals, whatever the case may be. But I did pick up one thing and I had to get it. Think happy thoughts. And so I had to pick up this hat of Peter Pan. You know I love Peter Pan. And uh, it's got Peter's little face right there. And I love how the colors are all different right there. Um, it's so pretty. I love that. And I love the green. And it has Disney Parks on. Let me see if I can get this uh, situated so you can see it a little better. Maybe I'll just do this. It has Disney Parks on the back of it. And uh, I love that it's an adjustable uh, headband there. And I love it, love it, love it. Y'all, I don't know what's up with Disney and these tags. I know they have <laughs> put these on their ears now. This will be coming out. And this hat is normally $29.99, and I got it for $8.99. So I think that's a pretty good deal. That was one real good deal I got at, um, the character house, which if it had been $14.99, I would have got it anyway, because it, it really is half price for the hat, and I really love Peter Pan, so I would have picked it up anyway, but I like the price, $8.99, so that's one thing I got at the character warehouse. That's the only thing I picked up at the character warehouse. Okay, so 
So the next thing, uh, I picked this up. Now, they've had, it's a mug, and I picked this mug up at, uh, oh my gosh, I think it was in Epcot, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, over maybe in Creations, I think is the name of the shop. But I noticed they did have it at Magic Kingdom also. And I was a little nervous about it. I was like, oh no, if I don't get it here uh, and we go over to Magic Kingdom, I was afraid uh, that, you know, they wouldn't have it over there. So I went ahead and picked it up because I really like it. I don't like a huge uh, coffee mug because I don't drink that much coffee at once. Uh, I love coffee every day, but um, like a 10 ounce cup is more my speed. I can't deal with these 16, 18, 20 ounce cups, mugs, and everything. I, I can't drink that much coffee. Um, so, but I love this. It says, today is a good day for a good day. And it's got Mickey on it. But I love this. Um, it may be a coral color. Um, sometimes you look at it, it looks blue. Sometimes you look at it, it looks kind of like a... a green color uh it's got mickey on the front of it so let me give you a closer okay, look so here it is and i'm guessing this is about a 10 ounce mug i'm guessing uh but anyway try to shield some of that light from it but anyway here it is uh and it's today is a good day for a good day so i love that i love mickey's on it i love the size of it so this will be going to work with me tomorrow Okay, I love that mug. So, I was looking around for other mugs about this size, and y'all, I couldn't find any. Uh, unless there was a little, like, a, maybe a cappuccino or a teacup, something like that. And I really wasn't uh, interested in that. But, yeah, this was pretty cool. I love that. So, yay, I got that to take to work. And then, let's see. Oh, y'all, I love this. I love it, love it, love it. Y'all. I have been wanting something, you know, I, I didn't, I don't want to get tons and tons and tons and tons of 50th anniversary items. I think if that's what you like, great. I mean, everybody has their own cup of tea, um, but you know, I wanted a few pieces here and there, this, that, and the other, um, just so I can have something to remember it by. Uh, but then there will come, you know, the 60th, the 70th, and I know 50 is a big number. So I did want to get a few things. And one thing I, y'all, I love, let me just say, y'all, the weather when we went was absolutely fabulous. I've never been to Disney with this type of weather before. We had no rain. Well, I take that back. I'm lying like a sheep killing dog. We did have a touch, and I'll tell you about it in a second. But the, for the most part, 99.9% .9 of the day, I mean, if there was any humidity, I did not feel it, okay? I guess I live in the South. Maybe I'm used to some humidity. Uh, but for me, I felt no humidity, which was wonderful. Um, and it was sunny, breezy. I mean, oh my gosh, I could not have asked for a better weekend at Disney World. Uh, and so I think the high one day was like 80, 81. That was the high. And so, you know what, I can handle a little bit of heat as long as there is, there is an, uh, humidity. Uh, the humidity really gets me, drains you. But anyway, uh, it was just a wonderful, wonderful time. Now, what we did on the days that we went to the park, we actually started out at Epcot and enjoyed the flower and garden. And you'll see photos over on Instagram. I'm going to have a video coming and all about that uh, but then we hopped over to Magic Kingdom because I wanted to see the 50th and I wanted to see if there's any other items I wanted to pick up and then we want I wanted to see the fireworks and so that evening waiting on the fireworks to start there came a ton of clouds and um, so a sprinkle I mean it wasn't I guess bad enough to put up an umbrella, but you were getting a little uh, wet from the sprinkle uh, and the wind was blowing. It was kind of cool. So that brings me to my next item. I had seen it uh, earlier in the day and they, where I saw it earlier, uh, they didn't have my size. And I was like, oh my gosh, because this I think runs just a tad bit small. Um, and so uh, when we got to Magic Kingdom in the Emporium, I found this. I told my husband, we were standing there, I was getting really kind of chilly from the wind uh, and I said you know what I'm gonna run in the Emporium and see if they have my size so I ran in and y'all I got this it is a zip up jacket and I'm just gonna show you the back first but it is from the 50th 50th 
And let's see, it's got, on here, and I'll show it to you, it's got Goofy, it's got Donald, Mickey, and Minnie, all in their 50th anniversary. It's got Walt Disney 50th on it. It's got the castle dressed in the 50th. And let me show you this right there. Isn't that awesome? I'm trying to make sure I have it straight for you. But, oh man, I love it. It is so, so pretty. Oh my gosh. And uh, going down one of the sleeves, you've got Disney World in gold, or it looks like rose gold to me, or that iridescent uh, color gold, and for the 50th. But as you can see, it's kind of going down the sleeve there. So I love that. And then inside the hat is so cute. It has, you know, just icons from all the different worlds. Uh, but it is beautiful on the inside of the hood. And this is a little hoodie. And of course, it zips up and down the front. So it is a zip closure. And then it has Disney World and the 50th uh, logo right there on the front. So, oh, I was so in love with this, and they had they had one left in my size, and I snatched it up so quick, and I go running out of the store holding my bag up, and Eddie's just going, yay, <laughs> cheer for me, because he found, found the jacket. Not only did I get what I wanted, but also it kept me warm, and then when it started sprinkling, I just pulled my hoodie up, and it kept me dry, so that was perfect. So this was, I think, like 60 64 dollars um in the park and uh so i love this i'll be wearing this to work and so it's still kind of cool some mornings here um so i'll get some wear out of it this but year. i love love that i just oh I was so thrilled to find it and be able to pick it up but that is really it that I got for the 50th anniversary uh, was the jacket and of course i got the ears and my bippity box um and I, I didn't find a mug. I would have loved to have had a mug, but they didn't have one in a size that I would really use. So I just kind of shied away from that. But they had tons and tons of 50th anniversary merchandise in the, all the parks. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys get there before they change everything because it was so much fun to see everything. Okay, so the last thing that I purchased from Magic Kingdom Oh, and I love it. It is mini sequins. Oh my gosh, is this not beautiful? I loved it. Y'all, it looks so elegant and it will be going into my sequins collection. Uh, I've got a couple mini bags um, that kind of have the red and white theme running through it, but I don't have any sequins on it. And I just thought this was so beautiful. And I had this one in my hand. And then I had the rose gold sequins. And y'all, I had a problem. I couldn't make up my mind if I wanted this particular bag or if I wanted the uh, rose gold to go in my sequins collection. I was asking everybody around me. I asked my husband. And everybody's like, you know, well, the ladies that I asked said, get the gold, rose gold. Well, and I'm like, the only reason I didn't want to do that, y'all, is because I've got the gold sequins. And I wanted something new to add to my collection. And so I felt like if I picked up the rose gold, I was just picking up something necessary to just complete that collection and not really adding anything new because I already have a gold bag. Um, and so that's why I went with this one because I don't have anything like this. It's different, but it is rose gold. I mean, not rose gold, but it is black sequins. And isn't she beautiful? Oh my gosh, I love the red and white pokey dot. Is that, does that not scream mini? Uh, and then of course, it's so elegant with that black Disney Loungefly logo just beautiful. The sequins is gorgeous. The bow is so dainty and fancy. I just love it. Um, huge front pocket here. I love the gold accent on the bag. It just, you know, it's so classy looking to me. It does have side pockets on it. Um, I don't care my sequins bags right now. Um, I, they're just so dressy and I don't want to mess them up. Um, and so I don't really carry them. So I'm not going to mess up this one either. Uh, but I love the back of it. It has the red and white polka dot, big cushiony straps, nothing on the back, uh, just your 
basic black bear. The ears are black sequins also. And then if we open it up, let's check out the inside. Oh, the inside is black. Now see, it fooled me. I thought it would be a red and white polka dot. But it is Minnie Mouse's head with a red bow against a black backdrop. I don't know if you can see that, but there it is. And, and let's see, let me feel back here. What have I got? Okay, I don't have a zipper pocket. And I don't have a slip pocket either, y'all. That is very surprising. There are no inner pockets on this bag, which is okay, because like I said, I really am not carrying this one. Uh, I'll have it for my collection. I mean, if I wanted to, I could carry it, but uh, I probably won't. I haven't carried any yet. Uh, but y'all, I love this. The little snaps on this, uh, I just noticed this, this gold little snap just to hold the strap together. It has a little gold button there and on it is the Funko crown. I think that's the first time I've noticed that on a bag. That is so neat. Oh, the little touches, right? Oh, wow. It is just beautiful. Oh, I'm so glad I decided on this one. It matches uh, or gives my collection, my sequins collection, just a little something different. Uh, and I can pick up the rose gold later. Um, but I love it. So this was the last thing I picked up at Disney uh, for that. Now, my husband picked up a couple packs of candy. You know, he's just not into merchandise. You know, he's got tons of Disney hats, tons of Disney shirts. You know, he's he only wants so much. So, but anyway. But so, I hope you enjoyed those. Uh, I love all my Disney stuff. Now, on to something else. I've got a couple little things. Um, while I was, uh, right before we left to go to Disney World. So, let me open this up for you real quick. Now, this will give you a little hint of something else that I am wanting. I haven't gotten yet, but it will be coming, um, I am sure. But this was from the Funko uh, 2022 Wondrous Convention Limited Edition, and it is Donald's Shoulder Angel and Devil. And I thought this was so cute. And, of course, I want to pick up the actual... Uh, devil of the Funko, I mean not the Funko, but the lounge fly bag of Donald in his devilish form there. So let me see if I can give you a close up without opening it up. Okay, so here it is. You can see uh, Donald's shoulder angel right here. And you can see he's got his little hands clasped together uh, and his little angel's wings and his little halo. And I just love it like he's got on a little robe. And then over here, you've got Donald's shoulder devil. And he looks mischievous. And he's got these little red horns. And his arms are folded. I think it is so, so cute. This was a two-pack. And like I said, it's from this year, 2022, the Wondrous Convention. This is limited edition. And it is uh, Funko Pop. So, I love that, and I want to pick up, like I said, the lounge fly bag to kind of go with the devilish Donald there. But I thought this was so much fun. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to share with you today, as far as my haul goes, is this wonderful bag. It has been on pre-order. Matter of fact, Melissa and I started second-guessing ourselves as whether we bought the thing or not. Uh, <laughs> we finally got it in. And let's see, I think this was from Comic Spot is the name of the shop. You know, everything's been on pre-order. I'm not fussing. Um, they finally got the bags in. As soon as they got them in, they shipped them right out. So, you know, you can't help what you can't help, right? Uh, so, let me get this paper off of this. But it is the Jack and Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. Disney's Tim Burton, The Nightmare Before Christmas. I love this. This is exclusive just to the comic spot. Um, and I love this, the kind of skeleton look um, for Jack and Sally together. And you have them both on one bag. 
So the first background is of Jack, and then you see down here Sally uh, for your front pocket. And look, she even has her little lips right there. That's so cute. Uh, but it does zip. It has gold hardware like that. I like the uh, stripes here, the black and white pinstripes there. That is so cool. Pocket on either side. Oh, wow, y'all. I really like this. This is the... Um, Disney's the Bur Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas logo, and it's all in white. I love that. That is so neat looking. Uh, pockets on either side. Like Let's I said. look inside and see what it looks like on the inside. Oh, okay. It is the uh, black and same kind of skull um, print on the inside there. So that's pretty unique to this bag. Y'all, I love the stripes on this. And look at the extension piece to the strap. That is so cool looking. Uh, you kind of have the black and white scroll work on that. And then look at the back. That is really neat too. Look at that. You've got little spider webs down there and scroll work on the back to give it extra character back there. That is so cool. Love it, love it. I love that it's got gold hardware. I don't know if I said that yet or not, but that is really nice. So I finally got it in. Yay, this is gonna be great come Halloween. I like setting this out. I wouldn't set this out for Christmas. I know Nightmare Before Christmas, there are, you know, I did kind of work um, Jack and Sally into my Christmas a little bit, but uh, mostly I would display this in Halloween. So, uh, but anyway, this okay, is guys, it. That is it. That is everything that I wanted to share with you today. We had a wonderful time at Disney World. I love all the merchandise I brought back. Uh, a lot of fun things that I find useful. Uh, and I love showing you the things that I got in right before I left. I'm expecting other things. I was hoping they would come before I filmed this, uh, but unfortunately they did not. So that'll be for another day. So, so anyway, thank y'all so much for popping in and checking out what's going on on the channel today. Uh, and listen, if you don't follow me over on Instagram, head on over to Bells of Cotton. I'd love to have you there. You can um, take a sneak peek at all the pictures I'm going to be adding from our Disney trip, the pictures I've already added, maybe short videos, etc. Um, and do that. And so, and if you're not subscribed here, I'd love for you to just hit that subscribe button and then hit the notification bell and you'll know when I have another video to post. So listen, until I see you again, I hope you have an awesome, awesome day.